Hello everyone, I'm Andrew from Galileo Sky Technical Support Team. We continue our series of how to videos Easy Logic Creators. Today you will get all necessary info about the condition block, how to use them in algorithms, and what you should pay attention to. Condition is usually required when the tracker should have different reactions depending on a specific condition. For example, on the sensor state connected to an input. Let's have a closer look using an example of ignition check, sensor connected to input 0. We add condition block on the field and enter the settings. Left and right parts of the block contains variables or numbers. In our next lesson, we'll investigate what are the variables and what types can be used. For now, we simply choose in 0 for the left side. In the right side, we enter voltage level. If the input counts voltage higher than this level, ignition is considered to be on. In our case, it will be 7000 mV. Condition can use one of six different arithmetical signs to compare left and right sides. It can be less, more, less or equal, more or equal, equal and not equal. We decided that ignition is on when voltage is above 7 V, so we use the more sign. As we mentioned earlier, all elements should be connected to each other. When working with condition, we can see that this block has not one, but three bonding circles, one below and two more on both sides. That is due to the fact that condition can be either true or false, and we need to set reactions for both options. True is always below the block, for that we create diagnostic message ignition is on. False is on both sides we should use one of these two possible circles, the one you like more. For it, we create another diagnostic message, ignition is off. Then we create a cycle. As you remember, that requires adding a delay action. Algorithm with condition is ready. When working with conditions, you should set reactions for both options, true and false. Otherwise, the algorithm will not be complete and you won't be able to upload it on the tracker. In our next video, we will see what variables exist in EasyLogic and what is their purpose. Bye, everyone!